Hey guys, so today we'll teach you on how to save your iPhone's battery in iOS 13. Let's start with settings. When you open this one and go to Wi-Fi, just always make sure that you are connected to a network. And if it's not, then you must always turn it off. So same with Bluetooth, if you want to save your battery, you just need to turn it off because if it's not, then it will just keep on searching for devices just like what you're seeing on my screen. We also have here the notifications. So it depends on the application that you use and how do you want to be notified. And for this, you can turn on the banners, turn on the sound, turn on the badges, or as you will see on my screen, is to just turn it off completely. So it depends on your preferences. And guys, the next thing we're gonna do is go to sound and haptics. Turn off your vibrate on ring as well as vibrate on silent. Swipe up to see keyboard clicks as well as lock sound. So you just also need to turn it off both because this settings actually uses your hardware. And if you really want to save your iPhone's battery in life, then it should be just turned off. Now tap settings to go back to the main menu and tap on screen time. So screen time gives us a report about how much time we spend on our phone and set limits for what we want to manage. And we can also choose from downtime where we can schedule time away from our screen. We can also choose app limits to set time limits for apps and always allow to choose applications we want at all times. So these are the settings on our screen time. Now tap settings to go back to the main menu and let's talk about display and brightness. With iOS 13, we now have the much awaited dark mode under appearance, which uses less pixels of our screen. Or we can turn on automatic. I also suggest to use at least 2 minutes as auto lock timing and turn off freeze to wait which helps us a lot on our battery usage. The next one, still under settings, is the wallpaper. With dark mode, you may now deem your wallpaper where brightness will adjust under ambient light. Or use the all black image that is available under steels category. Apart from its minimal look, this also helps reduce the amount of power your display uses. When you're back to the main menu, just scroll more at the top on privacy, then location services. Here, you may want to change the settings for each application to either never or while using to save more of your battery. You may also want to tweak the system services when you scroll to the bottom for settings you don't want your locations to be used. For another tip is the password and account settings. You just need to tap on fetch new data. This is for the data that are pushed to our iOS devices. Since the push setting is enabled as well as the automatic, opt for manually instead to save more of your battery life. In this case, you just need to manually refresh the application when you visit it to gather the latest updates. For our last tip is the background app refresh. Just go to general on settings for this. This allow your application to not refresh its content even when not in use. You may want to turn it off as well for all of your application and manually refresh the apps instead to preserve more of your battery life. 